Let's take a look at some of the basic ideas associated with voltage dividers. I'll begin by forming a two resistor voltage divider. I'll start with a voltage source VS, two resistors called R1 and R2, and then I will connect everything together in series. The notion of series connected devices is very important, especially when later on you just pull out the equation for the voltage across the resistor. We need to recognize that there is a common current I that circulates in the, in the circuit and it's common to both the voltage source and the two resistors. Now each resistor will develop its own voltage and I'll keep track of those voltages as V1 and V2. Now by Ohm's law, which describes the behavior of a resistor, we can write V1 is equal to the current through the resistance times the resistor value itself, R1. Similarly, we can write V2 equals I times R2. All right, we see that the source voltage appears across the series combination of R1 and R2. So let me just draw that again. This is Vs. And this hopefully emphasizes the fact that V1 and V2 add together to form that voltage Vs. And this is the essence of the voltage divider. We see that Vs is basically partitioned into the two voltages V1. Kirchhoff's voltage law tells us that Vs equals V1 plus V2. Now we have expressions already in place for V1 and V2. I'll drop those in. Observe that I is common to each expression. I'll pull that out front. And then solve for the current I. So let me place R1 plus R2 on the other side of the equation. Now I'm going to take I and substitute that into our original expression. And we have, after a bit of rearrangement, the resistor ratio R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times the source voltage Vs. And in a similar way we can write V2 is given by the resistor ratio R2 there's R2, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So basically you say if we're looking for the voltage across a particular resistance we just use that resistor value. So we use R1 in conjunction with V1, R2 in conjunction with V2. Notice the denominator is always the sum of all the resistances connected to Vs. And again, that means they must all be connected in series. Now in general, if we have N resistors connected to the voltage source like this, that means we d divide up the voltage into N different voltages. So any particular voltage, say VI, will be the associated resistor, R sub I, divided by the sum of all of the series connected resistors. We then take that resistor ratio and multiply it by Vs. In a little more compact fashion, we could say that Vi equals Ri divided by the equivalent resistance connected to the voltage source.